Happy New Year, Washington City. Mayor Staley here. What an exciting time it is to live in Utah's Dixie. One of the most beautiful areas anywhere around and some of the best people live here. Um, having completed my first year in office, let me just say thank you. Uh, you are the reason this is such an amazing community and it's really you who myself and the council desire to serve. I mean, we're in here for uh, public service to improve and maintain the quality of life that, that you deserve. Uh, so thank you to the council. Thank you to each of you who live here and who recreate here. Uh, I also want to thank the dedicated employees of Washington City in all of the departments. You might be surprised at how much goes into running a city. Um, we have employees that do work in legal and management, finance and utilities, IT, a recorder's office, community and economic development, leisure services, power, public works, police and fire. And uh, you know, a lot of the things that they do um, are behind the scenes and not really noticeable until there's a problem. But uh, they do so much work and it's just critical to keep everything going. Um, at the first council meeting in January, our work session on January 11th at 4 p.m., I've asked each of the departments to report on what they've accomplished in 2022 and to share with the council and with the community some of the goals that they're working towards in 2023. I invite you to come. Um, that meeting is also like all, all of our meetings on our uh, YouTube station, washingtoncity.org. You can link to that and watch that. I think you'll find it very informative. Uh, let me just highlight a few things that are happening um, that have happened in 2022 in our streets department and some of the projects that you'll see coming, um, coming about in 2023. Washington Dam Road has been uh, completely rebuilt and extended to the Southern Parkway. It was a monumental task and it turned out wonderful. Uh, 3650 South in Washington is now connected to 1450 South in St. George. That curves up around the Red Cliffs Temple, which is, which is coming along nicely and that road's been renamed as George Washington Boulevard. We listened to the parents, to the, the teachers and crossing guards uh, near um, uh, Majestic Field Elementary School, and we did a traffic study and ended up adding um, a signalized intersection at 3090 South and another traffic light at 3650 South George Washington Boulevard. We also widened Buena Vista as a nice frontage road on the north side of I-15. Some things you'll look forward to in 2023 and maybe some things that might be just a little bit painful. But here they are. George Washington Boulevard is planned to extend to the east and an interchange is to be built onto the parkway. In St. George, George Washington Boulevard is to be extended to the west and tie into Dixie Drive. So that'll make for a really nice connection east-west throughout the county. Um, downtown here, there will be an I-15 interchange onto Main Street. That's going to be a bit of a pain point, but we are committed to communicating and do, and we've done all that we can to make that uh, design uh, be attractive and to calm the traffic as much as we possibly can. Um, it's likely that we'll also uh, extend Washington Fields Road south towards the regional airport and add sidewalks at certain places along Telegraph Street and Washington Fields Road. Now, that's just a little snippet of transportation projects. To get more information about that, please mark your calendars for February 7th. That's the Dixie Transportation Expo from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the Dixie Center. I'll be there. I'll be looking about the projects and seeing what's happening. I'll also be out running on these roads and on the trails, training for the Washington Half Marathon and driving out and about. I'll be around. I hope to see you there. And until then, I'm Mayor Staley. <laughs>